when a customer is about to spend a lot of money on a new car, he expects to be offered a test drive before being offered an order form. So to help you make the most of this opportunity, here are a few hints. Always have the keys of the demonstration cars clearly labelled and laid out, so you know at a glance what vehicles are available. And if the parts manager's car doubles as the demo vehicle you need, make sure he knows the form and is not going to be using it. And whatever you do, always show him those little courtesies which make him feel he's important. Whatever car you eventually choose, make sure it's always parked conveniently close to the showroom in a special area. It should be as near as possible and not hemmed in by a dozen other vehicles. The car itself should be looking clean and tidy and the ashtrays should be cleaned out every day. Now, always start the car yourself and drive the first couple of miles to warm up the engine and let the customer get settled in. And of course, make sure the test vehicle is fueled and ready for the road before you get the customer into the car. Always have your test route planned out beforehand. Make sure it includes some quiet roads so the customer has time to get used to all the controls. and a stretch of open road so he can appreciate the car's performance and of course wherever possible avoid heavy traffic and if you must give directions don't leave them to the very last second, or the customer may get into all kinds of trouble. When he's driving, keep quiet. Don't keep bombarding him with information. Let him concentrate on actually getting the feel of the car. Oh, one other thing to remember about the route, keep it interesting and varied. Make sure he gets enough time behind the wheel to really appreciate the car. And when you get back to the showroom, always remember to stop by his own car, so he can get the chance to compare the vehicles side by side. After you've stopped, let him sit in the car so he can get that feeling of possession. This will give you the chance to find out what he likes about it. After a really successful test drive, getting the customer to sign the order form should be just a formality. After all, driving is believing, isn't it?